complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Lakers and the Lakers. And here come the Lakers. And welcome, everyone, to another great college football game brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. You know, I think in a game like this, you need to look at the big playmaker. The away team needs a big game from their talented running back. And I think they'll win the battle up front, and he's going to have a tremendous day. Look for him to lead them to victory. But Lee, it's going to be very close. And i like to add one thing. The away team is going to win this one because we're hoping for a great game. Guys, let's get down on the field. The team captains are ready for the coin toss. The and they're ready to kick this one away. Kicks it off. Logan takes it at the four. <laughs> They'll start this drive at the 20 yard line. Gilbert with three wide receivers. A little misdirection. Tackle. Couple of yards there. On the carry. Gain of two on the play. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 22. The Lakers come out of the ace formation. Lavin gets another hand off. Cunningham brings him down. On defense, it's all about instincts. It didn't look like their instincts worked too well on that play. <laughs> You're right, Lee. There was a lot of running room there. First and 10. Ball on the 36. And they have three bunch. He gets another carry. Bonner with a takedown. Maybe got two feet on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 37. Gilbert lines up with five wide out. Gilbert drops back. Down the middle. And he's taken down. And they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. Five yard penalty, first down. The defense lends them a hand with that penalty. Gosh, giving up penalty yards is so frustrating, isn't it? It's first and ten. Ball on the 43 yard line. The Lakers line up with five receivers. Brought down. Four yards gained on that quarterback draw. Second and six, and this is the sixth play of the drive. The Lakers come out in a shotgun. Lavin gets it on the inside. Ramsey brings him down. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Third down and a yard. This is the seventh play of this drive. They'll try to get the first on the ground. Jackson with a takedown at the 29. So he got a few yards on that carry. You know what, guys? If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 29. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Still no score. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. The Lakers bring in their dime package. And the snap goes to the back. Spinning. He jukes. Great run by the tailback. On that play, the defense looked a little overmatched there. They just got swallowed up at the line of scrimmage.
This offense has a great scoring opportunity right now. Let's see if they can make the most of it. What a run. He really looked explosive on his way to the end zone. He's one of those guys that look a lot faster with the ball in his hands. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac drive summary. Roberts is lined up to kick this one off. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Craig fields it at the nine. Oh. First and ten. The Ball in the 23. The drive at the 23 yard line. First and ten. McDowell lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. Short toss. Pearl brings him down. The offense calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 27. From the gun. Back to pass. He'll dump this one off, and it's incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Third and six. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Lakers come out in the ace formation. Drops back to pass. He might have a chance, and now he's going to run. And they make the stop, and he turned that one into a nice game. Brad, this is a spectacular play by the quarterback. He caught the defense nap, and then, whoo, he took off. First it's ten. first and ten, ball on the 43. The Lakers come out in a bunch formation. Throws. Merritt with a takedown. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. The Lakers go with the eye formation. Under pressure, Starks comes away with a sack. The linebacker brought down the quarterback before he could find an open man. Something tells me he would have got punished even if he did find an open man. That backer was coming in there hard. They'll work from the shotgun. McDowell tries to throw. Throws it to the outside. Got it. Inside the 30. To the 20. To the 10. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. What an athletic play by the wideout. This guy's one of the most athletic players I've seen all year. You realize in high school, this guy was all state in football, basketball, and baseball. He's been making big plays his whole life. And he hits the PAT. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And this one's a short kick. Logan takes it to 12. The offense is back on the field after that last touchdown drive. And let's see if they try to move the ball on the ground again. They'll go to work at the 26-yard line. The Lakers line up in a nickelback. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Over the middle. Got it. And down he goes. And they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. First down. Thought we might see a personal foul there, but the referee thought differently. He didn't try to rip his helmet off, so it's only going to be a five-yarder. Lavin is the single setback. Little handoff. Can't wrap him up. Hickman brings him down. And he busts a big one on this defense. The way this halfback is running the ball, I'd put a few more guys in the box there defensively to try to stop him. First and ten. Ball on the 27. Lavin lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Looks. Over the middle. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. 
Nearly intercepted that time. On that last play, you see the defense do a good job of playing coverage, and the quarterback telegraphed his pass the whole way. The Lakers bring in their dime package. He drops back. He steps up. He throws a dart. Batted ball. Incomplete pass. The offense calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. It's third down and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Lakers line up in a nickel back. Steps up, looking. Across the middle. Parks with a takedown. The Lakers are going to take a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. time they were in the red zone they got a touchdown out of it so he'll get it again brought down the Lakers call for a timeout and that was their third and final timeout they're in field goal range but it looks like the offense really wants to make a statement here they're going for it he's in for the touchdown And he tacks on the extra point. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, the Lakers 14, the Lakers 7. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Number one, back deep to return. Kicks it off. Craig fields it at the seven. He spins around. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 25-yard line. The Lakers line up with four wideouts. Across the middle. He spins. Complete. And they make the stop. Good yardage there. And that'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. First and ten. Ball on the 41. They'll work from the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Lofts this one out to the right. And it's caught. Starks brings him down. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Dunbar brings him down for a loss. That was a fantastic play by this defense. You're right. Poor halfback. He had nowhere to go. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on their own 45. The Lakers line up with three receivers bunch. And off to the right, Kendrick with a takedown. And that is going to be enough for the first. Is this kid amazing or what, Kirk? Well, absolutely, Lee. You and I talked about him earlier in the game. What impressed me there is he knew exactly where he needed to go to get the first down the whole time. They'll bring in their dime package. Counterplay. And they hit him in the backfield. Look at that. The Blitz just threw off their blocking assignments. And that's why this running back is looking for his mouthpiece right now. Craig is the deep back as they line up in the eye. And they'll run him again. And down he goes. Defense looked like it jumped early there. Offsides on the defense. 
He jumped too early. Quarterback did a great job of being aware of the situation and hiking the ball before the defense could get back on sides. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. On the ground with the tailback. Dunbar brings him down. Three-yard gain by the running back. So another third down upcoming for the offense. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is the Lakers 14, the Lakers 7. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The Lakers line up in an eye formation. They are going to pitch it. They'll bring him down. They attempted to pick up the first by running it, and they failed. Yeah, and the defensive line won that battle easily. Look for a run right up the gut. They're going to try to get it through the air. Throw. Incomplete. Well, they had to go for it, but they don't make it. Yeah, but I like the call. They needed to do whatever they could to get back in this ball game. Too bad it didn't work out the way they wanted it to. They'll get the ball here at the 38. The Lakers come out in the ace formation. Bonner with a takedown. The defense calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 43. Gilbert comes to the line with three wide. Gilbert back to pass. Draw play. The defense calls a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 47. Gilbert lines up in the shotgun. Gilbert options out to the right, and he's tackled. He decides to keep it and gets the first down. Good decision there by the quarterback to hold on to the football and not risk a turnover. EA Sports and Old Spice say congratulations to our players of the game. They come out in a goal line set. Handoff up the middle. Bonner brings him down. He picks up four yards on the carry. The Lakers are going to take a timeout, and that was their third and final timeout. Second and six coming up here, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Lakers line up with three wide. They are going to pitch it. Spins upfield, and down he goes. The halfback runs for four yards. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Lavin is the single setback. Cunningham with a takedown. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious, though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. First and 10, all on the 23-yard line. Lavin, the lone back, a little misdirection. And he's taken down. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 22-yard line. One man backfield. And he's stopped behind the line. The offense calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. The Lakers come out in the ace formation. Gilbert set to go to the air, steps up in the pocket. And that one's fallen incomplete. This one will be interference, but who's it going to be called on? Pass interference on the defense. Spot foul. First down. They were jostling with a receiver. Yep, and the referee saw the whole thing. That's a good call there. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. The Lakers line up with six defensive backs. He's looking down the middle. 
And he went way up, and he's got the interception. Why would you make a pass like that when you've got the lead? It's simple. You don't. That was not a good choice by the quarterback. It sure wasn't. Call another play. Dump the ball short. Call a draw play. Run a sweep. Something. But don't put the ball in the air where the defense can make a play. McDowell to the air on first down. Rolls to the left. Wants to go long and does. It's deflected. Great range as he's able to break up the pass. I know that the safety makes a good play here, but as a receiver, you got to get in there and play some defense. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. And they have three receivers bunched. McDowell steps back to pass. He pump fakes. Pressure coming. And they couldn't hook up on that one. We've got a flag down on the field. Might have been offsides. Offsides on the defense. Five yard penalty. Still he second jumped down. too early. Quarterback did a great job of being aware of the situation and hiking the ball before the defense could get back on sides. Second down and five. Ball on the eight. Well, you never know what can happen in college football, so I wouldn't be surprised by anything here. Either way, it should be exciting. The 50, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He's in for the touchdown. to overtime. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Finley lines up as a single back. Gilbert hands it off. And now he's got room to run. He's knocked out of bounds. They grab eight yards there. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 17-yard line. The Lakers line up with three wide. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. First down pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arm. It's first and 10. Ball on the 14. Lavin is the single setback. On the ground with the tailback. He's got a lot of green. And he's tackled. And the tailback picks up great yardage on the run. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this week? Oh, a thousand times. And it was just as successful then as it is right now. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Gilbert pitches out to the right. And he's in there. Touchdown. What do you say about that touchdown, Coach? He really banged and bullied his way in the end zone. That was a great touchdown. And he hits the PAT. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Well, the offense did their part. Now it's time for the defense to take over. And this is a very high pressure situation for an offense to face. If you don't score a touchdown, you lose. First and ten. Ball on the 25. 
The Lakers come out in the ace formation. Across the middle. It's deflected. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Lakers bring in the nickel package. Inside handoff. He's into the open field. Hess brings him down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job of reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. McDowell is back in the gun. He unloads it. Got his man. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he tacks on the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. First and ten. Ball on the 25. Ace backfield. Craig on the handoff. Dunbar with a takedown. The halfback gets a couple there on the counter. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. The Lakers come out in a two tight end set. McDowell goes with a play fake. Throws this one out to the left. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. Guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Third and eight. Ball in the 23. Craig lines up at the single back. Throws it to the outside. And he gets the touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that is make the catch. And he hits the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Let's see if they can answer the call here. Well, the big thing here is patience. There's not a game clock. You've got a fresh set of downs to work with. You just got to take your time and don't risk turning the ball over. Gilbert with three wide receivers. Gilbert will hand it off. Spin move. Gibbs brings him down. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 18. They come out with three wide receivers. Inside handoff. Horton with a takedown. The halfback rips off a nice game there to get him the first. Yeah, this guy's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. Ace backfield. Up the middle. They'll drop him for a loss. And they lose a couple there. The Lakers come out in the ace formation. They'll give it off here. And it pays off. Touchdown. And they punch it in on the ground. Man, he's a good-looking player, and he's showing us why they wanted him so badly coming out of high school. Tacks on the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. And if two overtimes weren't enough, we are going to a third. And extra points are no longer allowed. If anyone scores a touchdown, they've got to go for two. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Lakers come out showing three wide. They run a counter. 
He tries to spin, and he's shoved out of bounds. He picks up a yard on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 24-yard line. One man backfield. Counter play. With the spin, and he's taken down. About eight yards there. Third down and a yard. Ball on the 16-yard line. Lavin, the lone back. Here's a counter play. He's hit and got away. Holly tackles him for a loss on the play. Good penetration by the defense there as they tackle him for a loss. Either the coach has no faith in his kicker or a lot of faith in his offense. Tackle. And that was a big stop right there in overtime. Now they just got to protect the football. Move it in a little closer and kick the field goal. From the gun. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. It falls incomplete. He sailed that one high. That's not a bad incompletion because he saw the blitz coming and just got rid of the ball to avoid losing yardage. McDowell, options out to the left. Now he pitches it. There he goes. He jukes it. Touchdown. What a weapon this running back is. I'll tell you what, this guy makes the defense look silly out there. They're falling all over themselves trying to get him on that one. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2005. And our final score in this one, the Lakers 34, the Lakers 28. For Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time.